Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Aaron Dykes here with a special Infowars.com report. We have breaking news from Gun Owners of America, something that could mean the beginning of the end for the Second Amendment as we know it. It could also mean the creation of a dictatorship over Congress. I'm talking about the attempt to put gun control legislation into this new body known as the Super Congress, uh, which would allow a committee to essentially rule on gun issues, uh, taking away much of the power of Congress. The report here comes from today, August 1st, 2011, and the title is Congress to Decide Whether Super Congress Could Impose Gun Control. This all comes out, of course, from the debt ceiling report where gun owner registration, bans on semi-automatic firearms, the adoption of UN gun control treaty, all these issues could well be decided in the next 24 hours. That's because both houses of Congress will be voting on a debt ceiling bill that establishes a legislative committee with tremendous powers. We're talking about an elimination of the standard checks and balances. The Speaker of the House would no longer be able to pull legislation and keep it from coming to the floor. Likewise, the Senate would no longer be able to filibuster legislation and there'd be no debates over amendments and everything else. Straightforward, there would be no Senate filibuster on the product, they report. The Speaker could not stop a vote in the House. Instead, a 12-member body in the Super Congress, above the Congress, uh, but bipartisan with six Democrats and six Republicans, would bring legislation to a head, and then there would simply be a yay or nay vote. It's, a new, it's another version of the same fast-tracking legislation we've seen with a lot of the World Trade Organization and globalization schemes they've had going on, which really gets their program, uh, the global program, mo moving forward. Of course, they've eyed gun control for a long time, and now there's extremely alarming news coming out of Gun Owners of America that this new body coming out of this debt ceiling debate will be used to control our guns. Alex Jones will have uh, Larry Pratt of Gun Owners of America on later. But more on this super Congress, it's really a seizing of the constitutional powers that have been handed to Congress, set up by the founders with intent uh, to keep checks and balances. You never really want super efficient government. That is dictatorship in, in its most raw form. And we've already seen them talking about moving the power of the purse to the executive branch, giving the president the authority to decide how much the debt is. No, there's a reason that Congress has that power to decide how much money is spent and really this whole debt ceiling issue is a bait and switch. Number one, uh, they're only going to cut about a trillion now uh, if they come to this agreement. But moreover, this joint committee is going to have all these new powers. It's going to be really uh, tricky for our country. And further, uh, our credit rating may be downgraded anyway. And, and again, it'll only be a paltry one trillion. Uh, the real story here is that Congress continues just as Paul Craig Roberts has reported in disastrous outcomes from an orchestrated economic crisis, that they will continue to offshore jobs. They will continue to erode manufacturing. These globalization policies, that's what's really killing uh, both the tax base and the wealth of the middle class and Americans in general. And more importantly, where's the cuts in military spending? We've geared up from first two wars, Iraq and Afghanistan, to now basically five wars, including Libya, the bombing of Yemen, and uh, the bombing of Pakistan, uh, as well as bases around the world, that's where money could really be cut. Instead, they've set up this unconstitutional new body known as the Super Congress, and if they don't come to the agreements to make the cuts by Thanksgiving, they're saying, it will be the entitlement programs that suffer. And uh, sure, there's a lot of dependency going on, but really, they need to look at the military-industrial complex. And you've seen it being called treason uh, by LaRouche and others. And uh, what they're really going to do is just continue to deindustrialize the U.S. economy. Uh, here they have bulldozed the new way to foreclose. Too many homes on the market. So now a lot of the banks are going to simply... Um, increased demand by cutting the production of houses, the availability of houses, uh, just shows you uh, where the economic tyranny is going on and what a farce the moves by government uh, are undertaking. But more on the gun control front, we've also had this week a special video report that Alex Jones just re 
released last night titled Obama Launches Gun Grab. And that was on the heels of a special exclusive report written by Paul Joseph Watson and myself, Aaron Dykes, on Friday. ATF intimidates gun owners with home visits. Now, they've sent out a letter by executive decree, by fiat, through the ATF, uh, asking gun owners, asking gun dealers to fill out reports on anyone who buys more than two guns of several kinds of guns, including rifles, handguns, uh, you name it, all in the name of cutting down on these drug gangs who the ATF, the Justice Department, and the rest of them are attempting to link uh, with the free sale of guns under the Second Amendment here in this country. Uh, we know it as Operation Fast and Furious. It's, it's a false flag to shut down the free trade of guns, as I said, uh, to clamp down on gun shops and then to move buyers who will be placed under suspicion on no buy list. It's all unconstitutional. They tried to introduce these bills in the House and the Senate. They did not pass. Now they're just issuing it as a policy through the executive branch under the ATF, total tyranny. And then if the super Congress is established and they could just push these gun control votes, uh, it'll be very hard to stop them. As we mentioned earlier, a lot of the procedures that the founders put in place to help check and balance these overreaches of power uh, will be removed. And it's just simple, though. It's all unconstitutional. No law shall be established barring the Second Amendment. And that's assuming that the executive branch isn't going to be making law anyway. Yet they are now doing so by decree. Here's the letter we received from a gun dealer here in Austin uh, telling dealers that they will have to report again on anyone buying two or more guns even as the executive branch is essentially arming these Mex Mexican drug gangs. Obama refuses to enforce the border. Uh, you know, Senator Kyle came out earlier this year saying he's not going to enforce the border until we can have immigration reform. Here we see them refusing to deal with drug and gang violence, which is largely CIA sponsored. School of America sponsored, so they can hold hostage Americans' right to buy guns, particularly in the Southwest. It's totally outrageous. There are very large constitutional grabbing going on, destruction of the Constitution, and Alex Jones will be getting more into that tomorrow, but we wanted to put out a special report now to let you know the Super Congress mechanism is coming after the guns. We'll be back in just a moment after this trailer for Endgame. It is a big idea, a new world order. In the near future, Earth is dominated by a powerful world government. It's known as the Bilderberg Group. Could their objective be world domination? For thousands of years, their dark order grew. Now, as they hail the birth of the new world order, their great dream of exterminating 80% of humanity is at hand. For the first time in history, the elite's plan for world government is blown wide open. You will learn the secret that drives the entire New World Order agenda. Bilderberg is making great progress toward a world government, and only an educated, informed public can stop them in their tracks. Alex. It's Chalabi, eh? For the first time, all the pieces have been put together. The dots have been connected, and the picture is crystal clear. Endgame, blueprint for global enslavement. You have been warned. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We've received even more breaking news uh, as we took a break there. The AP is reporting that the House has now okayed the debt bill with Representative Gabrielle Giffords in attendance. They're saying that the Senate 
on Tuesday is virtually assured of approving the deal and that the president is poised to sign it. So here we have devastating legislation bringing in a Trojan horse even as the president has begun his gun control moves through executive fiat power. And here we have the symbolic Gabrielle Giffords shot in Tucson back in January in attendance for the signing of this bill, which will establish a new superstructure over Congress. Uh, we already have the president ruling by decree on so many fronts. So when is it a dictatorship? Let's check out this clip for more discussion. But the Bush administration tells us they have such a plan. They introduced a little sketchy public version that's clearly inadequate uh, and, and doesn't really tell us what they have in mind. But they said, don't worry, there's a detailed classified version. But now they've denied the entire Homeland Security Committee of the United States House of Representatives access to their so-called detailed plan to provide for continuity of government. They say, trust us. Trust us. Continuity of government power, special secret executive emergency clauses. This is dictatorship and it's all a move to circumvent the normal checks and balances set up by the Constitution, the appropriate branches of power where the executive is equal to Congress, itself split into two houses, co-equal with the judicial branch. Instead, we see this new move with under the debt ceiling Trojan horse legislation to circumvent Congress. And we further see the president, not just Obama, as you just saw, President Bush, with a secret plan that keeps Congress from even knowing what's written in the agreement absolutely establishes an executive branch dictatorship. But of course, it's not just a person. It's the special appointments inside there. It's the advisors. It's a back door for Council on Foreign Relations and Bilderberg members to bring in uh, the sort of world government legislation and everything else. And one part of that is gun control. They can't do it because no law can be established against the Second Amendment. Uh, but again, they're just superseding that anyway and making rules as they want by fiat. Of course, we heard from Obama since the beginning of his term that he's not going to pursue gun control outright. He's going to do it under the radar. Last week, he issued uh, this new order through the ATF requiring gun dealers, requiring sellers to report on their customers for anyone uh, buying two or more guns, uh, putting them under suspicion uh, and using this false flag to clamp down on the Second Amendment. These kind of powers are completely undermining our Constitution and really making a dictatorship around the system that was in place. Now this council, this committee, uh, this Soviet will rule over Congress and decide what legislations introduce, keep amendments and debates from happening, and through a simple yay or nay vote, will fast track some of the most devastating unconstitutional legislation we've ever seen. Ladies and gentlemen, if President Obama can be an emperor, anyone can be an emperor. That means the next stooge from the GOP who's put into the White House. Uh, that means the next gun grabber who looks like a conservative. Anyone can make absolute moves and just devastate this country as they continue to ship out jobs, as this uh, recession, actually a depression, keeps this country from recovering. They'll continue to pay the banks. They'll make sure their cronies get paid and the people's voice will be heard less and less and less. We have to put a stop to this and we have to say no to this, even as it's guaranteed to be passed virtually. And uh, we have to just raise awareness that emergency powers have put, put in the place of the president, that he is ruling on the war in Libya without consulting Congress, that the president has taken United Nations foreign titles uh, sitting over their Security Council body earlier in his term, that the president, when they couldn't pass legislation to tax and regulate carbon, a uh, totally made up uh, bubble for their buddies to profit on, that they use the EPA, simply an executive agency, uh, to intimidate the states and individual businesses into complying with their regulations. This is unacceptable, but it's been a continuation uh, through many of the past presidents, totally bipartisan. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not acceptable. And we'll be back with more. Alex is going to continue to cover this throughout the week. You will see reports at Infowars.com. Thanks for tuning in to this special report. I'm Aaron Dykes, live on this uh, August 1st, 2011, Monday night.
There are many things in the works. We have to be vigilant as always. Thank you.